Hi, good morning. My name is Arturo Rodriguez, and we have a device app to for texting and driving. We need to start with the name. Why we call texting and driving app, which is going to be the proposal name that we get. We make a research on the keyboard planning to ask Google what are the words more used for people all around the world when they're looking for a accidents caused by texting while driving and the words more repeated was texting and driving so that's what we want to call the the app but the question is why you gonna make people avoid texting with an app is the app is on the phone and i agree with you because it's not 100 percent an app it is more 90 percent a device and 10 percent the app because the app is just going to be for record, for easy stuff. And that thing is going to help us to understand and visualize better how to avoid this accident. This is the main reason why we came with this. Over 2.5 million people in the U.S. are involved in a road accidents each year. Of these, 1.6 million have a cell phone involved in the accident. Each year, over 330,000 30, accidents caused by texting while driving. And one out of four car accidents in the U.S. is because texting and driving. So the question is, why to focus only in the 1.6 million that are using the phone and have an accident? If we can focus on the whole, in the 2.5 million. How is that possible? It is possible because no matter what the law says, no matter how many times you tell your kids, your papa, your mama, the driver, hey, pay attention on the drive, hey, don't get distracted. No matter if you create another super app to block those apps or anything, they're gonna keep doing. So. In order to avoid distraction for people while driving or texting on a tablet or checking magazine or whatever, we visualize to have a device that will focus on the eye. So if the eye is open with the phone on the eye, we want to take a picture and on that picture we're going to pay attention to these four points three, four points. Let's get here to here, he measure 12 millimeters. So if we measure 12 millimeters, the half is six millimeters. So we can detect when it's at six millimeters. That means he, the eyes are getting close. So we need to sound the first alarm. Obviously the app, the device is gonna be able when somebody turn to the side, he will give a time for distraction. When you take a look that way or that way, and I is going to be considering, but when he is facing, he will check on this. And then <clears throat> with that, we want to make a device like this. This is for other purpose. It's not our device. But this device has an infrared camera here. It has some LEDs here and it has, has a regular camera. And be, we want to put this camera in the front of the driver, which is uh, here, some place here, so it will be looking to the driver eyes. That's the main focus. We just need to tell the device and the app where are the eyes. With the mouth and the eyes, there is a reference on all these points. So we just need to get this. And then we will have the device something similar to this. This is the infrared, the regular camera, and we wanna put some accelerometers because the key is the people will be able to text in while driving but when the speed is zero or less than 10 miles per hour that's mean it's not totally blocking the, the, the text because people is going to continue doing the problem is when they are higher speed more than 20 25 miles per hour and their text is more risky as the speed speed go up the distraction is higher risky and most more dangerous but the way we we want to avoid that is making a connection with the driver and a relative, somebody that loves him 
or somebody that take care of him. For example, on this case, I make a the first noise on the device, the first instruction is gonna make an easy noise, like a ding. The second noise, or maybe the second or third, we are evaluating that part, it's gonna be an intense, it's gonna go on intense that noise. But the third one is the one that's gonna make the difference, and it's gonna sound something like this. This is for my daughter. Arleti, pon atención. No te distraigas mientras vas manejando. Recuerda que te queremos ver en la casa. Tus hermanitas, tu mamá y yo. Te queremos ver de nuevo. No queremos terminar en un hospital visitándote. Haz que por favor, mija, concéntrate y no te distraigas. En el volante, enfrente. Mira hacia enfrente. Gracias. Nos vemos. Bye. This message was for my daughter and basically we tell her that you need to be careful because we love you so much when we don't want to have a surprise and then have to go to the hospital because of an accident. This is another sample. This is his thinking for a friend or for myself. It's kind of, let's see. Hey, come on, no te duermas, güey. ¿Qué chingo estás haciendo? Aliviánate, güey. Chingao, te digo, te duermas. Ay, ta, 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 no estás haciendo, güey. Acuérdate que si te duermes, ¿quién va a pagar las chéves? Ah, nos vemos. Bye. This is for myself, kind of funny, or for a friend. And basically what it says at the end is, don't go to sleep because if you sleep, then who's gonna pay the beers? Who's gonna pay the drinks? So the magic will come when somebody that you love so much, your daughter, your wife, your grandpa, your mama, is, make, is making a message for you so you don't go to sleep while driving and don't get distracted while driving. Because that person, when you hear that voice, is when you gonna make the connection that how important it is to drive and focus on the driving, not on distraction. So that way you can see that love, love relative, daughter, son, mama, wife, girlfriend, grandpa, whatever. And that guarantee is gonna make the difference. That's the main thing we need to find, the connection. And we believe that is the connection. Thank you.